Hey everyone, I hope you caught last episode where we went and discovered the Hawaiian settled island of Russell Island. And we also went to Salt Spring Market. Hey everyone, we're the Carmina family from Victoria, BC, Canada. Last year, we decided it would be a great idea to move on to a boat, but not just any boat. We found a 1969 Stevens Brothers aluminum boat that needed a lot. And I mean a lot of love. Of course, we decided it'd be fun to make all the repairs and do the refit ourselves. After 19 years of marriage, this may be the end of us. Join us on our adventures cruise in the Pacific Northwest and getting Tango Rotor ready for a massive trip around the world. Yep, we've got Aston Martin engines. It was a quick trip for Tangaroa to Ganges, and then it was off to the market. They have a great dinghy dock at Ganges, however it was a little bit crowded, kind of reminded us of the Caribbean. After a long year of COVID, it was nice to see the Salt Spring Market back to normal. Hey everyone, we're here at the Village Hive. It's an amazing store here in Ganges. I bought some little things for the head. Check out this. This is so me right now. One by one, I release my burdens and I become the wave I float joyfully in my freedom. So I got three different ones that say things. Um, this is the owner, owner of the yeah. Village Hive. Hello. Yeah, and he's got, we're gonna pick what words of wisdom? Words of wisdom for the day. Oh, and tell me what you plant. So with my purchase, trees. Trees, trees. Three trees. One, three. Piece, one tree per piece of wood. Oh, that's awesome. Putting it back in the air. And we're gonna pick words of wisdom here. Words of wisdom today, there's nothing to do, just be. That is so what I needed to hear today. So there's nothing to do, just be. It's perfect. But no, you guys should come by. If you're in Ganges, the Village Hive, awesome little place. So Tina is getting a henna sitka tree on her forearm. And this is, what's your name? What's your name, the artist? Sarah is the artist, also Salt Spring and Ganges. fall from the tree She said I almost died a week ago I lost my will I thought I let you know The countryside the water so I wait up here I just let it you know and while at the market, we saw Salt Spring Radio live on location. What are we going to play next? So next we're going to hear uh, the locomotion by Kylie Moon. I know everybody loves Kylie Minogue, but seriously, You Are My Sunshine is way better. go guys <laughs> and after enjoying some music it was off to support the local artisans Thank you. okay so that one's got the coolest rock though that one's cool but I like the height yeah I think these three but look like at that rock I like the height of this one actually yeah and these ones are a little more straight right here it's always good to support local artists Tina is like uh oh, all over the local artist trees everywhere. Yeah, I know. I would love it, but I've run out of surfaces and they fall over on the boat. So let me go. And then it was time to head back to Tangaro and see Blaine, who really does not do markets. We did check out some really cool boats on the way back. This is a 129-foot yacht Maribel. She's a converted hydrographic survey vessel of wood construction that kind of spends her time around the Pacific Northwest. Sorry, I'm just going to briefly interrupt this program. Hey everyone, thanks for joining us. We would love if you help us build our channel. And all we ask is if you subscribe, 
share and like that really helps us with the YouTube algorithm and it may seem odd but really that's all we ask and it just helps us build our channel we don't do this for patreon or anything um, maybe in the future but not right now we do it just for um, the joy of it and it's actually a healing process for me it gives me something artistic to do I love doing the editing and stuff so again please like share subscribe do all of that help us out with the algorithms if you have any comments comment below because that really helps I try to answer every comment and we would love to hear from you now that I finished begging to subscribe and share let's head back to the program we are heading to which is on and we're gonna see if we can fit. It's gonna be tight. But I always wanna to go to Wallace Island. It's got some awesome history, which I'll have to tell you all about. And that's where we're heading to. So it's on the northern side of South Spring Island in the Gulf Islands. It's hard being a boat dog, eh, Maggie? First anchorage we passed was Conover Cove, and there was no way we were going to fit into there. So this is Princess Cove. We're just trying to figure out what we're going to do here. So there's rings all along the starboard, or on the west coast, or west side of this cove. There's rings all along the shore. So we're just trying to figure out whether we put an anchor down and go in, or we anchor out with these guys which might definitely be an option too. It is way too tight for us in there. So we are going to go over here at the entrance, tuck in behind those rocks and that white sailboat with the red stripe over there. We're just gonna anchor. I don't even know if we're gonna run a stern line. We'll have Lucky to see. for us, it was a calm evening and there was a ton of room over there for us to anchor. We never even threw a stern line to shore. One of the big things on Wallace Island is there a shack that everybody puts their names on. So I've got a piece of driftwood here. We're gonna put Tang Row on it and everybody's names and we're gonna hang out there. So let's get painting. Right there. Yeah. The joys of having a boat dog and Maggie specifically is she does not pee on the boat. So we always have to find a place for her to go. There you go Maggie, go pee. <laughs> no, 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 you're, you're not supposed to, no. You're supposed to go pee not bark at the... Go pee. <laughs> you didn't actually expect that to happen, did you? Maggie, go pee. Go pee. There were way too many seals around for her to concentrate. And really, seriously, how many adults does it take to Maggie, tell a dog go to go pee? Go pee. No, 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 go, go pee. Go, go pee. I don't think she's interested in going pee. I think she's just interested in barking at the seals. Well, that's all just glacial. The glaciers just came down, created that, dropped all these rocks. Wow, look at this. It's like a natural channel we're going through. That is cool. Mm -hmm. like, look at those rock formations. Next time we come up, we'll check the depth in, in that inlet right there and we'll yeah. just nose the boat right in there and four lines on four corners. Yeah. And here's Conover Cove in Wallace Island. So let's talk Wallace Island because that's where we are. Wallace Island was actually discovered by David Conover. David Conover is also known because he is the person that discovered Norma Jean. You guys know who Norma Jean is. Marilyn Monroe, hello. Anyways, David Conover was sent by Ronald Reagan. Back then he was in the army. Ronald Reagan said, hey, go to this arms place um, where they made munitions and take some photographs. 
Well, Conover, working as an army photographer, went there and he's discovered Marilyn Monroe. And he took these famous, I'll put them here, because they're beautiful photos of Marilyn Monroe. So he discovered it. Well, David Conover came here to Wallace Island and he built up a resort. And the resort was going to be a retreat for Marilyn Monroe. Unfortunately, she died before she ever came here. But yeah, really cool history here at Wallace. And now it's uh, National Marine Park. And let's go see what else we can find here. The lions, and the tigers, and the tall grass. So Wallace Island is also a popular place for kayakers. actually a journal about it. One man's island. You see in there is an old wood stove, fireplace, and this is where he lived. David Conover. Right now we have our tender in Conover Cove. We just walked along here to this point which was beautiful, Panther Point here, and now we're gonna walk this way towards the abandoned cabins. And this is Princess Cove and then we are anchored way down here by Shivers Point. So what Wallace Island is known for is all the boats put their signs up. So we made a sign and now we've got to put it up. But let's check this out. There's so many here. Right back to 2014. This is really cool. This is not the first time Blaine and I have seen one of these. Where was our first one? Uh, Palmyra. It's about an uh, island just a thousand kilometers south of Hawaii. So we went to Palmyra and they don't have as many as here. If you come to Wallace Island, don't forget to bring a plaque with your boat name on it. And you've got to put it on there. Like they go way back and it's just, it's amazing. There's a ton. Like Inside it is seriously, is and there is some like serious artists here, guys. Like come to Wallace Island, you've got to check this out. It is just awe-inspiring. Yeah, a lot of history here. Lots of history. There is some really good artists. And then we had to go find the old truck that so many people had told us about. Mater, what happened to you, Mater? <laughs> Most of it would polish out. Really? With some new steel. Just yeah. some new pedals too. Oh, it's a, it's a Here we go! <laughs> <laughs> ah! Flintstones. Meet the, the Flintstones. Have a yabba dabba do time. A dabba do time. We'll have a gay old time. I got like springs up my butt. And after an awesome walk, it was time to head back to Tangaroa. I always wondered why seals did the banana post. So it was time to hit Google. 
and it says, Seals do the banana pose because they keep their head and flippers high and dry, and therefore warm. Seals are well insulated with thick layer of fat except for their head and flippers. We fish on board Tangroa, just like this. We don't really catch anything, but this is how we fish. <laughs> Jack and I. Got our chair. The technique. It's a good technique. You bring it up whenever we're on the beach. Like that. Unfortunately, we didn't catch Everybody dinner, but really, it. I did not want to clean fish large. anyways. Well, actually, Captain Paul probably would have done it for me. Yeah. <laughs> so again, this is Princess Cove. The next morning, it was time to explore the north end of the island. Nice octagonal dock for the tenders. No one docks against it. Beautiful little protected cove, and there's some private property here. Wallace, we just landed here with the uh, with the dinghy, and we're gonna do with this walk out to the point, and our boat is right over here. Then a little walk back, get some exercise before we head back. And here's the point, Chivers Point. Lots of areas for people to tent. Lots of the kayakers come in and they got the raised tent platforms, which is awesome for people, for the kayakers. And they've got the eyes there for people to attach their tents to. Here she comes. And this is Chivers Point. Actually, it's probably that point over there. <laughs> and after a hot walk, it was definitely time for a swim, but no one really wanted to join me. It's actually going to be warm. I know. Oh, you guys should come in. Uh, no. Huh? <laughs> <laughs> Watch this Brian and I'll go to lift your out and she'll pull us in. Yeah. No, no, no. Some of us know better than... Okay. Boys! And then there was an issue. No ladder. <laughs> you gotta help, Janice. Oh, there goes the bottom. Don't drag her, though. Did you get that? <laughs> Wait, can you, can you, I was, can you go back in so I, get I missed it. Try to <laughs> It's like I could feel you grab my arm and just start sliding. Uh -oh. I'm going, uh-oh, uh-oh, she's sliding up. <laughs> Sorry, I was too busy laughing to catch that on camera. I think I lost my love. So we've had a great weekend. Um, we went to Russell Island first, and you can see the video about that. We just did Wallace Island, and now we're just finishing a circumnavigation of Salt Spring Island. I actually did not realize how big Salt Spring Island is. Um, so by doing that route, it was two nights out. We had a lovely time with friends. We ate prawns, we caught crab. Like seriously, living this lifestyle in the Pacific Northwest, absolutely love it. This is prime cruising grounds. A bit cold in the winter time, but still prime cruising grounds. We've seen otters, uh, seals, no whales though. I kind of wanted to see the whales, but that's okay. But yeah, so, absolutely beautiful. Thanks for joining us. Join us next time when I make a whole video about actually moving on board Tangaroa with kids and stuff. A lot of stuff. <laughs>